Okay, this is uh, Roger from Foster University showing from a video done by, a, fa a fabulous video by the way, done by AVE, which is about these um, gauge blocks and how being so finely machined that the surface is so smooth that when he sticks them together, they'll stay together just like this glued like a magnet. And I am saying the reason is, is because of the ether particles actually intermingle. Now, because of the fine way that it's machined. So here's what he's going to show you. Watch. Taking precautions to make sure that I do not desanctify these. Uh, as you can see, there's a warm glow of the holy toast. Machinists are very particular. We're going to clean off the factory schmoo. Thou shalt use lint-free cloth. They have to be absolutely flawlessly clean. We have a light oil. We're going to wet the mirrored left side. And we are going to clean them as much as humanly possible. That's All the key. Agree, can we, that these are spotless, polished, and ready for action. We are going to slide them thusly to form a cusiform. Cusiform being a cross. And then we are going to ring them together thusly. Now that's... Hold on. I just want to say something. That is a strong bond. Now, you watch what he does here. And there is no trickery here. This is a very well understood principle. Well, they understand that it does it, that they don't understand why it does it. I understand why it does it. Because there is nothing but electrons on the surface of everything. In other words, there is no protons. There's no posit positive charges that are on the surface. They're all negative. And when you have no distance between the complete molecules you have two complete fields of negatives and you are forcing these guys negatives partially into that one and these guys negatives partially into that one and you've literally created almost a complete solid block now what and I'm, I'll show you on a, a diagram over here but watch this you can see that they are rung solidly together. How do they stick together? And they fucking stick. <laughs> you get, they're Good. stuck. See that? Incredible. As witnessed by the magnetic viewing film, we have no residual magnetism in there other than just being in the There was no magnetism field. ever. But these work equally well when you buy the super expensive ones that are fully ceramic. According to an exhaustive five-minute parse through the gargler results, the mechanism of ringing is not well understood, but it consists of three theories that all work together to contrive to get these stuck. All right, well, I can tell you, I'm not sure what those theories are. You can go back and watch this. Here's the video it is. It's, um... B O L T R gauge blocks by A V E, and um, it's excellent. He's got a million hits on this, but I know why this is happening, and I'm going to show you right now. All right, it's as simple as this. Every single thing there is, there's not a single thing there is that doesn't have all negatives surrounding it. There's no positives. Let's say the red ones are the positive, and they always are surrounded by electrons in their orbits. Then you have another positive over there, and they mix with the electrons in these orbits. But once you get to the edges of something, like those gauge blocks, you every single bit of it is negative, because they're all on the outside of the complete matter. So you get a complete negative shell around this block and it is so finely machined that they there is no distance between two blocks so you take another one exactly like this push it up against there and your electrons if you force that and shake it like he did he's grinding these electrons up into here and down into the other block simple as that 
So the electrons always, always, always coat every surface there is. Every surface coated with electrons. There's no other possibility. And, and those are the ether. And they are also electrons are in the air. They're in the ether particles. They're just sort of floating. And if they're flying through the air, they're light. Now, gauge blocks are so flat. They're so absolutely flat. And he's, you've got to clean them. You've got to make sure there's no dust. There's no particles. When you touch them together, you literally are squishing this guy's electrons into the other one and the other block electrons into that block. They just mix. That's all. They mix into each other's blocks. Case closed. All right, so that solves that. And that works exactly with everything that I'm saying about ether and about negative and positive particles and about how they, they, they interact. And it's all completely, totally into, uh, there's no holes yet of anything. Static electricity, uh, I'm working with that right now. That all works fine too. Everything works. All right, we've got a lot dedicated recently to the ether, finally photoed and they're exactly as expected. Polarized ether caused the tether, ex tether incident. We've got experimenters, we're going to be doing some more experimenting. Here's polarized ether, magnetic flux lines, universal constants, negative mass explained. All right, so in the Einstein destroyed physics. He really did. There's no, there's no speed limit to the light. And um, E equals mc squared does not works, really. <laughs> All right, so anyway, that's what it is. Um, and I hope that explains... Um, how those blocks stuck together and how the nature of matter works together.